Hi, welcome to another dimension of Tensor. Today, we're going to talk about a concept that shapes our world in ways we rarely notice. Mimetics, the study of how ideas and cultural information spread and evolve. It's a field that challenges our understanding of culture and human behavior, and it might just change the way you see the world around you. Have you ever wondered why certain ideas seem to spread like wildfire, while others fade into obscurity? Or why some cultural trends take off and become global phenomena, while others remain niche interests? The answer might lie in the world of memetics. The term meme was coined by evolutionary biologist Richard Dawkins in his 1976 book The Selfish Gene. But this wasn't just about internet jokes. Dawkins proposed something far more profound, that just as genes are the basic units of biological evolution, memes are the basic units of cultural evolution. But what exactly is a meme? It's any unit of cultural information that can be transmitted from one mind to another. This could be an idea, a behavior, a style, or even a catchphrase. Think of the last viral video you watched, or the latest internet trend you participated in. These are all examples of memes in action. But memetics goes far beyond just explaining internet phenomena. It suggests that our entire culture is made up of memes competing for our attention and replication just as genes compete for survival in the biological world. Memes compete for survival in the world of ideas. So how do memes spread and evolve? The process is surprisingly similar to biological evolution. Memes that are good at getting copied and passed on tend to survive and spread, while those that aren't tend to die out. This can happen through various mechanisms, such as imitation, learning, and communication. Let's look at a historical example the wheel. Once invented, this meme spread rapidly because it was incredibly useful and easy to replicate. People who saw wheels in action quickly understood their value and copied the idea, spreading it far and wide. Over time, the wheel meme evolved, with different cultures and individuals adding their own variations and improvements. But here's where things get really interesting. Mimetics suggests that memes don't just passively spread, they actively shape our behavior to ensure their own replication. In other words, memes use us as their hosts, much like viruses use cells to replicate. This idea might seem a bit unsettling at first. Are we just passive vessels for the spread of ideas? Not quite. We still have agency in choosing which memes to adopt and spread. But memetics does challenge our notion of where ideas come from and how they spread. Consider fashion trends, for instance. When you choose to wear a certain style of clothing, are you making a completely independent choice? Or are you being influenced by a successful fashion meme that has evolved to be particularly appealing and spreadable? Memetics also offers fascinating insights into more complex systems of ideas. Religion, political ideologies, and scientific theories can be seen as vast memoplexes groups of memes that work together to ensure their collective survival and spread. For example, many religions include memes about the importance of spreading the faith and the consequences of not believing. These memes work together to ensure the religion continues to be passed on through generations. But memetics isn't without its critics. Some argue that the analogy between genes and memes is too simplistic, and that cultural evolution is far more complex than biological evolution. Others point out that it's often difficult to clearly define and measure memes, making scientific study challenging. Despite these criticisms, memetics offers a powerful lens through which to view culture and human behavior. It encourages us to think critically about the ideas we hold and spread, and to consider their origins and evolution. In the digital age, memetic evolution has been supercharged. Ideas can now spread globally in a matter of hours, or even minutes. This has led to the emergence of what some researchers call the meme economy, a complex ecosystem where attention is the primary currency. But this rapid spread of ideas isn't without its dangers. Misinformation and conspiracy theories can propagate just as quickly as factual information. This highlights one of the key challenges of our time. How do we foster an environment where beneficial memes thrive while limiting the spread of harmful ones? As we look to the future, Understanding memetics becomes increasingly crucial. In a world where artificial intelligence is becoming more prevalent, we need to consider how AI might interact with and potentially shape memetic evolution. Could AI systems become carriers of memes? 
Might they even create new memes of their own? So in the end, Memetics reminds us that we are not just passive consumers of culture, but active participants in its creation and evolution. Our choices about which ideas to adopt and spread have real consequences, shaping the cultural landscape for generations to come. As we navigate this sea of memes, perhaps the most important question we can ask ourselves is this. Which memes are we choosing to spread, and why? The answer to that question might just reveal more about ourselves and our world than we ever imagined. This has been Tensor. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos on the complex interplay between technology, culture, and human behavior. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep evolving.